Well, Hamza, you've had a number of jobs in government. When you were Transport Minister, the trains were never on time. When you were Justice Minister, the police were strained to breaking point. And now, as Health Minister, we've got record high waiting times. What makes you think you can do a better job as First Minister? You say you're the only candidate that can persuade people who voted no. In the first week of your campaign, you had people who voted leave, uh, voted yes, leave your campaign. MSP after MSP. You've had many people, particularly from our LGBTQ community, say they won't vote for independence if you're the leader. Forget persuading no voters. You can't even keep yes voters and on side. Gives... You would reject the Greens, who are, of course, the second largest pro-independence majority party. How on earth? Can you call yourself a unifier? Well, I am a unifier because I have already united the wider movement behind me. I think we need to heal the rifts our own party. Um, if you look at what's been happening with the, um, the arrangement with the Greens, we've actually got ourselves into um, some slightly um, murky territory at times. What's your verdict? Well, I said at the beginning there were really two audiences. They had to play to SNP members because they have the vote. But they have to try and pitch messages to the country. Now, I would suggest that the debate that we've just had was almost exclusively played to SNP members. In actual fact, if you were a member of the electorate looking in and you didn't know that they were members of the same political party, you would think that this was a rami between members of different political parties.